See, when you read the horoscope, houses are into a setup. For example, second house, 11th house is for wealth. Now, in this scenario, you should understand that second house comes first and 11th house comes later on. So, the basic point is that the analysis of wealth should be done based on the second house that should make the basic setup of what you are going to predict and 11th house should be secondary only. This should be understood with respect to every house or every such thing which happens in a combination. For a particular example talking of marriage, you should see where the 7th house is coming first, 7th lord is coming first or Venus is coming first, starting from the ascent, calculating from the ascent. Whoever is coming first, the analysis of the same should be the base and other factors should be the modifying factors but the thing coming first should be the decisive factor this is a very important topic that i have seen in my analysis of horoscope and i think those who don't follow this can gen will generally fall in analysis talking of wealth there is one thing success in life you know wealth in today's world is a thing for success you know you are wealthy you are successful so what i have seen see the there is one thing that is remedy attracting something that you don't have another thing is synchronization synchronizing yourself with no matter how many remedies you do if you are not synchronized I always say when it comes to the worship etc of the deity that first you make your body capable for the channelization of energy only then energy will generalize. So talking of wealth factors depending on the planets influencing it there should be a particular thing that you should take care of if you want the blessing to channel through your life. That is a very basic point. Okay. For example, take Sun. If Sun is connected to 2nd house or 11th house, Sun is the Karaka for aristocracy. Sun is the Karaka for government. So the thing that is important is I will take Sun as the Karaka for, you know, like doing things for people for free. This is the concept of Sun. Right? This is the concept of government also. There are like talking of democracy what India is. There are many people who vote for the government. There are many people who don't vote for the government. But government works for all. So in the matter of sun, be it money, success, marriage, anything as such, when sun is influencing, what is needed is doing things without expectation for people. Talking of wealth, what is my focus in this video? When sun is connected to the second house, you have to make sure that though you earn money from your profession, but you leave resources for other people also. You give something back to the world as well, right? So making of temple, making of a place where people can get free food, where free people can get free water, free shelter, anything that you can do from your level, this thing first you should do. By doing this thing, there will be a purification of thought that will make you capable to receive more blessings of sun. No matter how strong the horoscope is, if you are not synchronized with the planet, there will be issue. Then you go to the moon. Now see, if you understand moon, moon is a planet, moon is taken as Soma. Moon is more related to resources, though sun is more related to doing things for free right doing things for free for people as i have told you moon goes with resources moon is soma moon and sun have almost the same concept moon is related to soma and the concept of soma is though you earn money from any profession you also leave resources for others or you say guide others moon is related to free education moon is related to once you get the soma you become immortal you tell others how to get the soma moon is health when you once you become healthy you tell other people how to become healthy so moon is for mentoring regarding moon the thing is once you have the blessing of moon you should share the secret with others otherwise the channelization of moon will not happen properly moon will bless you but you will not guide others about how to get the blessing then slowly slowly 
the cap the synchronization with moon will break and further blessings will not come is what i have seen talking of mars see mars is mars is commander in chief if you see commander in chief he listens to the orders of king right he listens to the order of superiors so when mars gives you something there are few payoffs this is why mars is the garaka for loaning also before mars blesses you something there are some promises that you have made there are some dharma that you have to go through you have to take that into consideration mars tells you that by the time you start enjoying your blessings that mars has given you also remember those people whom you have promised that if i get this i will do this for you one secondarily there are sayings of people right your father will tell you son when you get money first do this your mother will tell you beta when you will get money do this meeting the expectations etc of people fulfilling your promise towards them while enjoying the blessings of mars will make sure that mars blesses you more and more over time and if you don't do this see horoscope remains the same everything remains the same dashantar dash also remains the same but when you are not synchronized the blessing slowly slowly fades away and by the end of the dasha the blessing is almost gone what is that particular thing in the horoscope of successful people this is the thing right see you cannot say that bill gates or steve jobs have some dumb, have, have done some remedy or barack obama have done some remedy you know but the lesson of this planet is in their psyche that they keep on following it they get more and more capable for the blessing mercury the concept of mercury is you know the story of ila how mercury becomes eunuch right mercury becomes eunuch because shiva and parvati are having a play in that play parvati wants shiva to play as a female so shiva turns everything in the vicinity to female mercury by mistake enters that area and converts into female shiva becomes very angry that why you have unknowingly entered into this area parvati being the mother tells shiva to forgive him. so shiva listening to his wife tells that okay for 15 days you will be male for 15 days you will be female so you understand the thing with mercury is intruding when mercury blesses you with that blessing you want to change the world that, that, that is a positive sun but with mercury what happens you want to intrude into the world you think that now because i have got the blessing everything should work like the way i want if there is someone who should get the uh, who should get the blessing if there is someone about whose uh, you know convenience the world should be thinking i am that person this approach mercury gives you the lesson of mercury is to remain humble even when you have the power not to not to be humble getting my point mercury tells you that despite the fact that you have the power to not do something still doing that particular thing because it is necessary for a particular example when you have a bike you say then even to the local shops that you go you will just try to take your bike and go and fetch something from 1 one, 1 one and a half kilometers away whereas earlier you used to go on foot because you are not blessed by the family mercury tells you that even after you have a bike that you can use to go to the shop try going to the shop on foot right do not make the convenience for your appeasement do not use the convenience for your appeasement rather use it for the purpose it is for right so not crossing your boundaries not forgetting what you actually wear is the lesson of mercury you do this this is a natural remedy for mercury once you start doing this once you have it into your nature regarding any house where mercury is placed in where mercury is affecting you don't need any other remedy right many people there are many people who don't believe in hinduism who will not do hindu remedies there are many people who don't believe in remedies at all they still have a blessed life why because they have this concept ingrained in their life these yogis these tantrics because they have these things ingrained in their psyche there is no need for them to do the remedy jupiter what i have seen jupiter is related to ethics and morals 
Jupiter have this power, you know, once Jupiter starts blessing you, you got to remain ethical. There is someone who have got a lot of money with that money. He is drinking alcohol and all of these things he is doing. And still he is getting more and more money. Whereas some people, when they get money and if they start using that money into alcoholism, eating non-vegetarian food, etc, etc, the blessing fits. The difference is Jupiter. Jupiterian people, when they forget the ethics and morals that they should follow, when they forget the responsibility, when they forget the code of conduct, the blessing of Jupiter ceases to exist. Right? So when Jupiter blesses you, when Jupiter blesses you in the matters of, you say, in the matters of wealth, that Jupiter is giving you a lot of wealth, you have to make sure that you don't spend this money into parties, alcoholism and doing those things which are unethical, immoral. Don't waste these things into it. Right? This is what Jupiter tells you. Now coming to Venus. See, Venus is Sukraja. <clears throat> and the thing with Venus is you should know the Vaman and the Bali story. Right? Vaman is asking donation from Bali. Bali is about to give him. Sukracharya knows it. Sukracharya wants to stop it, but in this process loses his eye. So with Venus, the problem with Venus is see the loss of eye is also related to the loss of vision. You started with a target that if I get money, I will do this. It was a good target. But once you get it, you seem to forget your target. See, it is not a promise like Mars. It is your own self target. No one have told you for this. You are doing this for no one. You are doing this for yourself. But your idea is once I have get more money, I will be more focused in my studies. What will happen? Venus will give you money, but your focus from your studies will go. Not keeping the promise for which you started it is the problem that will stop the blessing of Venus. Not only this, ignoring the elders, there is one more important point. There are people who are your well-wishers, who have told good for you, you have followed them, good have happened with you. Now over time when you become rich and successful, you start ignoring that people, that okay, I am rich, they are normal people, what they do know about money, I don't listen to them. This approach, by Bali ignoring his own guru. This approach you should leave if you want the blessing of Venus to continue. Otherwise, there shall be problem. Saturn, on the other hand, you know Saturn is a servant. Saturn is related to dedication and devotion. What I have seen that people have some habit. Going to a temple every day, doing one thing as a ritual or anything as such. Once people become successful, they start becoming busy. And then the things that they were doing, they start to ignore it. They're like, yeah, I used to go temple every day, but you know, nowadays I am very busy. I cannot go to the temple. I understand that is okay. But you have not visited the temple since two, three years is the biggest problem. The remedy for Saturn is to remain connected to your birthplace. The only remedy that I give to people who have a bad Saturn influence is that the place where you were born, near that place, there should be a major temple. You should visit to that temple, getting connected to your roots, continuing the habit, continuing the traits, continuing your schedule that you had before. Not with that frequency, frequency can be less, but continuation of the same makes sure that the blessings of Saturn keeps on coming. Rahu, on the other hand, see the story with Rahu and it is the same with Rahu and Ketu. It is just the two aspects of it. Regarding Rahu, Rahu have helped his family a lot. Right. Rahu and Ketu both indicates, Rahu indicates detachment with family, Ketu indicates a lot of attachment with family. So basically what happens, the stuff with Rahu is, once you become successful, those people who have supported you at your bad times, you forget them. You do nothing for them. In your struggle, when you were have when you were depressed when you were not having any way to look at 
these are the people who helped you invited you spent time with you now you become successful you forget them you don't have time to hang out with them this is the problem rahu is this is the trap of rahu don't forget them keep in your mind the people who helped you when you were nothing give back to them keep on visiting them continue the relationship continue the habit the blessings of rahu will be more and more on the other hand with ketu what happens that you don't actually take the new thing with ketu the problem is you don't adapt you remain the same that you were before is with ketu this is reverse ketu makes you adamant about i have been doing this thing this way i will keep on doing this thing the same way i will not change it leaving this adamancy and going into the new life embracing the new challenges becoming a better person to enjoy it is what ketu is telling you these are the traps of these planets once this planet starts blessing you these mental blocks will come if you follow what i have told you you need further no remedy the blessings of the planet will be there will continue over time and even if these planets are giving bad result if you follow this trade slowly slowly over 6 months 1 year 2 year what you will say what you will see that these planets have improved and with this approach they improve better than what they will improve by any remedy or anything in this world so you take this knowledge and apply it with respect to the house planet connected to second house with respect to wealth planet connected to seventh house with respect to money planet connected to fourth house with respect to comfort and family and see the blessing yourself this is a gem from my experience that i am sharing with you for the benefit of the world